back to Math 155, section 9.2. In this lecture video, let me explain to you what an annual percentage yield means. Okay, so this is something I got from the textbook. It says the annual percentage yield, APY, is the effective annual interest rate earned in a given year that accounts for the effects of the compounding. So this is a continuation of our compound interest formula. So the APY is calculated with this particular formula. So do you see this 1 plus R over N part? That is actually part of our compound interest formula. So exactly what's, what is an annual percentage yield, it goes like this, okay? Let's say we're going to invest $100 at 5% compound quarterly, okay? So let's just do this for one year. Okay, let's do this for one year. So at the end of the year, basically, at the end of the year, 100 times 1 plus 0 0.05 over 4, right? Compound the quarterly. Quarterly, mean, quarterly means n is 4, raising to the 4 times t powers. That would be, no, it's 4 times 1 is just 4. All right, let's see how much money will be in my account after one year. One plus 0 0.05 divided by 4 raised into the fourth power. Okay, that's $105.09. $105.09. Okay, so now over here, I'm going to go back to do what I did in the last video. If I use a simple interest formula, I equal to principal times rate times time. Okay. So compound the quarterly. Quarterly means four times in a year. Four times in a year means every three months out of 12 months in a year we were compounding. So the first time doing this, that would be 100 times 0 0.05, okay, times 0 0.0, excuse me, 0.25. So at the end of compounding period, I only earn an interest of $1.25. So add back to my interest, go with the second time I'm compounding. That will be $101.25 times by 0 0.05 times another quarter. All right, so if I do this four different times, eventually after the fourth time, I should have $105.09. So plus 100 then times by 0 0.05 times 0.25. Okay, I'm not going to write it down. I'm just going to keep on adding, okay? I'm going to take my interest, 1.27, add on to my P that I use, 101.25. So this is my P for the third time, times by 0 0.05 times 0 0.25. Okay, so that's one point two. 8 plus the 102.52, which is what's the P I used for the third time. Excuse me. All right, so this is going to the fourth time now. This is the P I'm going to the fourth time, times by 0.5%, times by another quarter, another three months. So 1.2, well, this is almost 1.3 now plus by 103.8, so I should be somewhere around, yeah, see right here, $105.09 or 10 cents, okay? So so this answer, 105.09, okay, is the total amount of money I have at the end of the one year after I compounding four different times, which is basically doing simple interest four different times. And, and every time I'm doing it, I take my interest, add back to the principal. And that's basically what this definition of compound interest was trying to tell us. Uh, I'm frozen for a minute. Hang on a second. All right. Now, so at the end of the year, I earned $5.09. So this $5.09 that I earned out of the $100 I put in is basically saying my, my effective yield is at 
five point zero nine percent. Okay, that's what this thing is saying. Annual percentage yield. What what is what is my effective yield per year in terms of percentage? That's why this here right. That's why the APY formula has a times a hundred percent here. You're trying to convert into a percent. So the five dollar nine cents interest I earn per out of the hundred dollar I put in give me effectively yielding, okay, annual yield of five point zero nine percent. Okay, so that's what this formula is trying to explain. All right, what's my annual percentage yield? Right, so let's say if we deposit nine thousand dollars, determine the APY if the APR is at seven point five percent compounded weekly. So if the APR is at seven point five percent, a lot of students will think the the annual percentage yield is at seven point five percent. That's not really the case because I'm I'm actually compounding by the week. So if I plug into this APY formula, then that will be. One plus R, which is 0 0.075, divided by my N, compounded weekly. Weekly means 52 times in a year, so that will be divided by 52, raised into the 52 power, then minus one, and then everything times 100. All right, look complicated, but it is really not. <coughs> so let me type in what's inside the parentheses first, okay? Which is one plus, I'm going to do this separately, okay? I'm going to do what's inside the parentheses first. 1 plus 0 0.075 divided by 52 times I'm compounding. So inside the parentheses, all right, is 1.00144 something, raising to the 52 power, and then subtract it from 1. And after I subtract from 1, I make it into a percent. So my effective yield annually is actually at 7.78 percent. Okay. My effective yield is at 7.78 percent. So that means at the end of the year, $9,000, okay, times point. 0778 that means this is the interest I should get okay yielding the interest all right so if I will use my compound interest formula like I did before 1 plus 0 0.075 divided by n is 52 raising to the 52 power n times t just do it one year at a time which is 9 Okay, which give me 9700.43. So if I subtract, all right, so if I subtract off my principal, my interest that I earn is actually $743, which is very close to my estimation of $720. So that's called the effective yield, okay, effective annual interest earned at the end of the year. So hopefully, hopefully that'll kind of explain a little bit of what the APY representing annual percentage yield. What should be the yield? All right. So let's take a look at this one. The first bank of lending list the following APR for loans. Determine the annual percentage yield or effective interest rate. Okay, for a loan that is less than twenty thousand dollars. So at under twenty thousand dollars. Okay, the APR is 12.25%. Interest rate is actually compounded quarterly. All right, so if I just use the same formula again, compound the quarter. I don't need money now. I don't really need I, I don't need P in this formula. So my APY, annual percentage yield, is going to be 1 plus my R, which is 0.1225 divided by my n, which is compound quarterly, which is 4, hold into the 4th power, minus 1, and then times 100. That means converting to a percent at the very end. <coughs> All right, so 0.1225 
divided by 4 first and then plus 1 alright whole thing raised into the 4 power then minus 1 so times 100 my percentage yield is 12.82 percent okay so it's kind of strange because if your APO is at 12.25 percent because I'm that's actually annually but the effective interest rate okay the effective interest rate is actually computed at 12.82 percent okay that's actually what taking effect of my money all right that's that so this number tells me my EO should be 12.82 percent every year I'm doing this okay so earlier, uh, I know I was a little bit off because I had to round this number. Um, if I did not round this number, this is 1 plus 0 0.075 divided by 52. So the calculator will automatically divide here first and then plus 1 and raising to the 52 power. Okay, and then minus 1 times 100. Now, if I use all these numbers times by the $9,000 I put in, then that will be... S oh, hold on a minute. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, let me do this again. I didn't mean to times 100. We know it was times 100, but I shouldn't have done that. I was trying to bring you back the exact the same number I should have. Raise into the 52 minus 1, and now take that times by $9,000. So that will be the 743 interest that I should get, okay, which is the same amount of, same amount of interest out if I will use the compound interest formula. All right, annual percentage yield. What should be my yield at the end of, at the, end of the year of my money? All right, that will conclude this lecture video on annual percentage yield. Thank you for watching.